Chapter 129 A Song of Ascents Much have they afflicted me from my youth up, let Israel now say. Much have they afflicted me from my youth up, but they have not prevailed against me. The plowers plowed upon my back, they made long their furrows. The Lord is righteous, he hath cut asunder the cords of the wicked. Let them be ashamed and turn backward all they that hate Zion. Let them be as grass upon the housetops which withereth afore it springeth up, wherewith the reaper filleth not his hand, nor he that bindeth sheaves his bosom. Neither do they that go by say, The blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. All right. Let's go back up to verse 1. Once again, we have a song of ascent, a song that goes out, a song that goes up, a song that progresses even in our understanding. When we remind ourselves of it, we're going to pick it up here, verse 1. Much have they afflicted me from my youth up. Let Israel now say, uh, much have they afflicted me. Uh, and we're going to find out what kind of affliction that is, uh, this affliction whereby they have been afflicted. Where the Lord was set to punish, but the nation said, aha, and they made heavier the punishment. And that's what we're talking about here, this affliction that Israel's placed under, uh, whereby we all suffer. Israel are those is the twelve tribes, the total house, uh, and they are those that contend with the mighty one, too. Much have they afflicted me from my youth up, but they have not prevailed against me. It was for an example, even from the beginning, the Lord making a example uh, to showing how he has the ability to redeem his servant and we're talking about this one that is going to obey or observe and keep the law the which Hashem give you from the beginning but these that have afflicted we're going to find out the verse 3 the plowers plowed upon my back they made long their furrows and these plowers that plow upon my back are they are those that enslave this is one aspect or one perspective we can look at this those that enslaved um, or where Israel was handed over to the to bondage these are the ones who made long their furrows or making harder that which was placed upon them just like that happened in Egypt we had that example there as well uh, the other perspective we could look at this is that they've They've used uh, the mistakes of a youth as to as a judgment even to try to condemn by um, as one does grow older. For the Lord is righteous, he hath cut asunder the cords of the wicked, but the Lord is righteous, Hashem, we, this is that holy name. He is correct, he is just, he is equal. And we'll find out it's he that are judges, uh, not nobody else. And he hath cut asunder the cords of the wicked, and these cords are those things that bind, uh, that the wicked used to bind. And we'll find out it's it's their understanding, it's their knowledge. They call it the ordinances and statutes that they create. Five, let them be ashamed and turn backwards, all they that hate sign. To be ashamed and turn backwards is, means the same thing. To be confounded or confused, um, is especially in the way you're going. We'll find the path that you're on has led nowhere. And these will be all those that hate Zion. Zion's that parched place that God set there from the beginning, that marker. It's a post, it's the documentation of what's happened in the eras gone by. And we'll find written on that post, the law of the Lord. Six, let them be as the grass upon the housetops, which withereth before it springeth up. Uh, just like the grass we see grow on some housetops. The, back in the older times when we had thatch roofs, we had shingled roofs made of natural wood, board roofs. We would find the moss, the grass would gather upon it. And as long as the rainy season was there, it would grow and prosper. But as soon as the rain went and the sun came out, it would 
burn it up. And this is the same example we're talking about because we, we find that the Lord prospers, the Lord lifts up, and the Lord casts down. 7. Wherewith the reaper filleth not his hand, nor he that bindeth sheaves his bosom. And we're talking about that grass that grows, these seeds that are scattered to uh, unprosperous ground, we can say. They're not going to be gathered up. They're no good for the reaper, this one who gathers the, the harvest. And they're no good for the one who bindeth the sheaves um, to carry. The, uh, this would be used for other things, uh, fodder, bedding. Um, it, it's no good for nothing. Eight, neither do they that go by say, the blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Neither do. Uh, and this is like a final thing. They, ain't nobody going to go by and have, have any mercy upon you. There's no mercy. There's no pity. Why? But, well, you, you've been made ashamed. The, there's no, nobody's going to feel sorry for you in the ass. Because you, you, there's full knowledge that you knew what you was doing. Uh, this, is, this is really kind of the intent here that you knew what you was doing was wrong. You was told it was wrong. You have the law. You have the statutes. You have the ordinances of the Lord. Yet you choose not to keep them. Uh, neither will they say we bless you in the name of the Lord. And the name, because that's the presence of Hashem. That's the presence. You, and that's, once again, if, if you don't have that presence, the Fear the respect for the ordinances, statutes, laws that Hashem give you for your own good. Then we'll find out there's there's just no pity. And we're going to move forward to Psalms 130. Turn and return. <laughs> 